Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week. I'm James Titko. This week's question comes in from listener Carl. Hello, Naked Scientist. This is Carl from Sweden. Greetings. For my question, I do not listen or get any pleasure from music. My music library is zero and nothing. Is there a cure for a specific musical anhedonia? Very interesting to hear the answer to this. Hope you're all well. Thanks for that. Thanks for the question, Carl. Anhedonia is defined as an inability to experience joy or pleasure. It occurs in roughly 70% of people with a major depressive disorder. However, to give us a sense of what's going on specifically with your experience with music, I'm going to need some help. And that's why I've put in a call to Melinda McPherson, assistant professor at Purdue University's Department of Speech, Language and Hearing Sciences. To classify a person as having musical anhedonia and not a more general form of anhedonia, that person must respond positively to rewarding stimuli like laughter, money, visual art, television, and other types of positive things, but they just don't respond positively to music. There are generally considered to be two types of musical anhedonia. One is acquired following some neural damage or trauma, and the other is present without any kind of neurological damage. The first type can sometimes go away as the brain damage heals, but the other type, musical anhedonia without brain damage, unfortunately does not have a known cure. But there is also nothing wrong with a person with musical anhedonia. There is simply a spectrum of responses to music. Some people get chills every time they hear music, and others only get pleasurable responses to music sometimes. People with musical anhedonia fall on one extreme of the spectrum. So, it's not that they can't identify how a certain piece of music is intended to make them feel, whether that be sadness, joy, tension, etc. This inability to process the music is known as amusia. It's just that, in the case of specific musical anhedonia, music doesn't bring them enjoyment. Thanks, Melinda, for your help. I also want to pick out this comment from Alan on our forum. Under the question, he writes, If you aren't turned on by listening to music... Perhaps don't take a formal route involving theory, keyboards and exams, but find a beginner's brass band where you learn to follow the dots and they have instruments you can borrow or rent. You get all the fun of a team sport, especially the pub session afterwards, and you only need to use three fingers. Or take up folk dancing, where the music has immediate meaning and relevance. Plus the pub session afterwards, where you meet the band. Well, we know where we can look for Alan if we ever need to find him. But on a more serious note... He's right to bring the conversation back to why we think most people do derive pleasure from music. As a vehicle for socialising, a tool to communicate emotions and to encourage us to perhaps dance together. Even if there's no cure for your specific musical anhedonia, Carl, you can still benefit perhaps from the positive social function it inspires. Remember to have your say on this and all of our other questions on the forum. Log on to nakedscientists.com forum. Next time, we'll be answering this question from listener Rory. Hello, James. Thank you for taking my question. I've been wondering, with all these huge wind farms being commissioned, what effect does this have on the remaining kinetic energy in the lower atmosphere? And what does this mean for the weather? Fascinating question. And be sure to drop us a line if you have a question of your own. It's chris at thenakedscientist.com and we'll be sure to take a look at it for you. Until then, from me, James Titko, thanks for listening and goodbye. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.